welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to show you my 2000 Kawasaki KL250 G4 Super Sherpa. There she is, all of her glory. Got this back in December, had to do quite a bit of work to it. Uh, the usual carburetor rebuild, which I did with an all balls kit. Here the dealer did all the install. It wasn't bad price, it didn't take a big advantage of me either. Uh, so it was cleaned, new kit, and adjusted quite a bit to get the run better. If you know anything about these machines, they came in here <coughs> under the federal EPA and they're just running super lean and really difficult to run. So they did a lot of adjustments at the dealerships. Uh, the, my right exhaust was super tight. None of my feeler gauges would go through, but the other two or the other three were fine. They uh, actually were pretty good, well within spec and range. Some of the things I did, of course, a lot of you know, stripping, repainting my skip plate, my boot pegs. This is from a KLX Kawasaki 250 uh, rear brake guard. Um, of course, I had the infamous Shinko 244s Golden Boy. That Golden Boy thing is like something they say in the South you know, Asia area. Uh, this is my guard to keep it off the exhaust. My built soft bags. Got those on eBay used and they're a fantastic deal. The straps run through here and it keeps it really solid when it's on there. Uh, this is my Pelican case I got on eBay. There's my Motozo, my channel. Anyways, uh, this I got off there and I just did some simple bolt wing nuts and so on a document case and what they do they run down through here and you can see the bolts worked out pretty well just enough space this is my well my special special i put this on as my plate blocker and once that's on i can ride place as well where i shouldn't Shh. you know what i mean Anyways, and uh, I've used that several times when I have my KLR 650, and that worked out quite nicely for me. Some of the other things I did, uh, this is actually a Walmart special. It's a Mad Dog ATV seat. What I did is I had another one, and I cut the cover off that other ATV seat, made a slit on the other side, underside of this, and slid it underneath. So I really have two pads on underneath here. You can feel the thickness, and I needed another inch of lift, and I think I got it for the most part. Uh, staples, staples, and I screwed in here and it's been really good. Cortec Magnetic, that thing's been fantastic. Uh, got that on eBay also, because I'm a cheap retired guy. Keeps all my incidentals. Oh, medical kit and so on and so forth, and whatever else I need. I also have in here, which is pretty cool, I call it a garage design. And what it is, a side stand enhancer. You just take this out when you're on really iffy terrain and put your side stand on top of that. See if I can do that. Just like so. It gives you more space, real nice. Uh, I upgraded from the 100 decibel horn to a KLR, KLR 110. So it gives me more beep. Underneath here I have a Doltran uh, lithium battery. Saved me 4.5 pounds, amazingly. Uh, got these off-road mirrors. They're pretty cool. I like how they you can unlock these and then rotate out of the way and uh, makes life easy. And they can just you can do that on the fly, which is pretty cool. This is for my phone mount right here. This is a run on switch from my KLR I had override the fan, but now it runs my lithium or my, my, my lithium, my LED lights, which I made a bracket for. There's another wall bar special. This is what the original owner had on. I think it's just stainless steel crimp chicken wire, if you will. <sighs> Palm Springs uh, outdoor howler. Anyways, that's uh, my lighting, extra lighting. This is from Amazon. I got that for like $13, $14 shipped. It's an hour and tack It works great. Uh, has a light here, will illuminate behind at nighttime. And uh, this is something I created in my garage design, bolted in place, and it gives me so much more comfort on the on the road, you know, 45, 50, 65 miles per hour. It's adjustable, mm -hmm. and uh, it's from a, that's also eBay, I paid $18, $19 ship. 
excuse me, and then also um, <clears throat> it was for a ninja, but I adapted it for my Super Sherpa. Handguards, of course, another eBay purchase. They're like 20 bucks. Uh, these are my shark skins. I had them on so many different bikes. Uh, the BMWs I had ridden before and my KLR before, but they're nice. It takes out some vibration, it gives it a fuller summer feel on your summer gloves. Uh, rebuilt the front forks, new seals, all balls, and dust cover. And I decided to go with uh, 15 weight in here, and it's been great by uh, Sukoline. And uh, same people I use on my chain for lubrication and such. Uh, let's see what else I've done here. It's got a new air filter. That's Kawasaki k or nobody really makes anything for this machine to get more airflow in there. I think that's pretty much everything other than I went with a Tusk T is in Tango 10, T10 bar. It's kind of nice. It's much nicer than what was on here. Some aftermarket thing is real narrow and it's, this is working it much nicer. Other than that, uh, I upgraded the headlamp right here to a Phillips, but I think I might end up just going with an, an LED down the road. And uh, that's pretty much all I did. Flushed out the brake fluid, but I'll give you a, a sound of her because I will never change this exhaust. I like the moto. I did it with my uh, 2005 KLR 650 that this bike replaced so I can get it back in my sport track. But uh, that is a nice note. I'll let you listen to that. There we go. Nice note. I used the digital dash layout and I'll show you what we got here. See how this works. Pretty nice system, works well. The guys check it at the shop and it says right on the money. So other than that, that's pretty much my 2005 Super Sherpa. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button. Cheers, right on.